EcoBlock's exclusive brick ledge enables builders to use the strength of monolithic concrete to support brick fascia, beams, and flooring systems. Brick ledge is completely integrated into the EcoBlock family of products and is built up in the standard way using the standard connector system. When planning brick ledge work, remember to allow for the additional rebar required within the block itself and for the stirrups that tie the core to the ledge. Because brick ledge can be used on the inside, outside, or on both sides of the form, corners must be made on the job. This will guide you through making a corner with the brick ledge on the outside of the form. The other configurations are adaptations of the same procedures. To start making a mitered brick ledge corner, notch the tongue of the corner block below so the brick ledge panel sits flat. Next, set the brick ledge panel in place for marking. Position it so that the end overlaps the seam in the corner block below by 8 inches. This ensures that the webs will line up vertically in the finished wall and provides for proper overlap. With the panel positioned, mark the brick ledge next to the outside of the corner for the bottom of the miter cut. Count over 5 inches and mark the top edge of the panel for the top of the miter cut. Draw out the cut on the face of the panel. Extend the mark you made on the top edge straight down the flat face of the panel, making that part of the miter cut vertical. Connect the end of that line to the mark on the bottom of the panel. Using a tri-square, mark the bottom edge for the 45 degree angle. Start the miter cut at the bottom of the brick ledge. The panel is more stable this way. It also helps if you set the panel on a soft surface like dirt or grass. This is a compound miter, so remember to hold the 45 all the way through the cut. When you get to the web, cut with light pressure on the saw and rapid strokes. If the saw hangs too much on the web, the foam may crack. When both brick ledge panels are cut, hold them together, square, to check the cut for a good close fit. If the miter is too shallow, cut away more of the foam. If it is too deep, you can use shims from scrap material to build back the edges. Even though the inside panel is straight, we'll follow most of the same steps to mark and cut it. Notch the tongue of the corner block on the course below so the panel will sit flat. Position the end 8 inches from the seam. Mark for the cut on the inside of the corner block. Since this is a straight side, the cut is vertical, straight down the panel. Build up both halves of the block, just like when making a 45 degree corner, and set them together. Cut a notch in the inside tongues so that the corner block on the next course will fit on top. The two halves of the corner are held together using zip ties. On the inner part of the corner, they go from connector to web. On the outside, they tie the two connectors together. Using a 90 degree corner connector on the inside of the brick ledge corner will ensure a tight seam and eliminate the need for additional lumber bracing on the inside of the form. The work on the inside of the form is finished by inserting the brick ledge rail in the standard way. The outside of the corner gets reinforced with strapping tape. If you see any gaps in the cuts, fill them with urethane foam.